we visited Miss Greedy's class to learn about 3D printers from a hands-on source. First, we asked her how she had found out about 3D printers in the first place, and she said that she had heard about them through Twitter. She also learned a lot about them when she attended a technology conference over the summer. After we had been there for a while, we discovered that the 3D printers were not as complex as we had thought they were. Her students used a program called SketchUp to design their creations to be printed out later on the 3D printer. Here you can see one student designing her coffee shop, and another one starting a new project for the city they are designing together. Um, what? So it prints out stuff, but what material does it use? It uses two different types of material. We can use PLA, which is a plastic polymer, or ABS, which is a more of a natural substance. Whenever they had first got the 3D printers, they thought it would be fun and educational to print out their initials. Miss Grease here has printed out her name in PLA, a more rigid plastic polymer. Miss Grease has printed out the word believe in ABS, a more natural baking soda polymer that is weaker. Um, well, for my marketing class, we're, we're doing several different projects. One student is printing a plans he found online for an RC race car, and then he's going to assemble it. My other students are coming from the city, and they're printing, designing stores and printing their stores. And then they're going to come up with something that they can sell. This is the beginning of a city that the students are creating and building together. These are a few of the buildings that they already have done. Now here is Miss Grease, and she is going to explain the creative process to us by demonstrating how to use the 3D printer interface. Um, and you can see he's off the print bed, mm -hmm. so placing him puts him on the bed, and I can fill this up. I can put like 10 items on there and they'll print. It actually saves time to print several at once. Right, um, if they're small enough, you can do multiple. Yeah. Um, he, you can see he, he's, he's a non-moving Lego. And you can see, if you look this way, there's going to be some raft material that prints on him. Mm -hmm. Make him a little smaller so he prints fast. So I'm going to scale him down to about half size. So I can print him in, while you're here. Place him. Which that makes him, before he was floating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh?